This hot Valkyrie on Valkyrie action is made possible thanks to the kind people at Hobbylink Japan. So check them out at hlj.com where they have both of these fine toys on sale right now. So yeah, I managed to get the uh, VF22S Miliotype fairly quickly. And um, as you can see, she is clearly a top in this relationship. So we're just going to go put Max off to the side and focus on this toy. Now I apologize for that, the uh, landing gear can collapse quite easily. All right. So, here we go. This is the Yamato 160th scale VF22S as used by Milia, the president, in the anime Macross 7. As you can see, it is cast in a kind of a brighter matte uh, red plastic with um, the same paint accents as the uh, Max type. Again, same yellow accents, um, clear parts used for the nose, uh, small landing lights up front, and of course the canopy. But again, this is a nice toy. It looks really good in this color, and this is pretty much what it looks like in the anime. Um, you can't really see it, but it does have a little 0-2 mark here. It was done in red, which does look kind of strange when you consider the whole thing is already red. But anyway, just to go over some of the uh, same features of the Max type, you still have the removable intakes. And this toy is pretty fresh and same problem with the other one. And these are red on the other side, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so just to put the landing gear away, all you do is again rotate it so that it points forward. Snap all these parts in place. Put the gear down. Put this front door down. Make sure you line these up correctly so that they go in. Yeah, this, this can be kind of difficult when you're just sort of uh, trying to get these little things all lined up here. There we go. Alright. So, here we go. Miliotype gear folded up and of course you can still do the high speed mode looks pretty cool and once again this does feature the open redesigned canopy for the VF22 as well as to the YF21 prototype and the new dorsal plates which do not store the gun pods but they're supposed to have them on the inside already so use your imagination Okay, so, as you can see, big toy, big airplane, well over a foot long, does not fit in shot properly. Okay, so let's get on to the transformation. Um, now, as I've said before, the transformation for these toys is um, it's, it's straightforward. It does have a lot of small panels, it's a panel-tastic toy. And um, it's really one thing you just need to practice, and in the course of doing reviewing uh, three of these things, you can tell that um, I've become a bit of an expert. Alright, so we're going to do the transformation. Alright, so here's the transformation into Garrock mode. First thing we're going to do is push in these panels near the intake here. Flip up this other pair of panels that expose the swing joints for the shoulders. I'm going to disengage the belly plates from the back here. And disengage this panel and this panel on the side here. And just kind of wiggle these out so that they fold out of the way. 
And right now I'm just going to pull out the hand covers, which are a little tighter on this one, I have to say. Okay, just going to pull out a leg. And just grab one of the legs and pull the whole thing up as it comes up on the die cast bar on the underside. And now I'm just going to grab one of the fists and then get the arm unlocked from the tab on the side here. You can see it's got the tab, or the hole right there for the tab that's right here. I apologize it's hard to see some of the details on this thing as it is kind of a sea of red. It still looks really nice. I mean, this is, a another, again, a toy that really just pops at you. Okay, going to the top, I'm just going to disengage this panel at the top as I also push the engines in. And the whole thing just came up on me without me having to go underneath like on the Max, and uh, well, you know, it's that kind of toy. It's forgiving. Alright, so I'm just gonna pull the arms forward. They just swing around. While well, I got the room, I'm just going to again put down the panels that are on the panels just to get them out of the way and take the time to move the legs in place. Snap the bar down. Get that leg in place there. There it goes. And extend the feet. Again, very, very tight toy. Good joints. Especially this one. I mean, listen to this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just to uh, kind of finish off gear walk mode, I'm just going to snap these parts back in place and, you know, thanks to this thing being bright red, you can see some of the details better. So we put the swing bar with the two holes on either side onto these raised screw holders here. And then just the whole thing will go back down and then just snap back in right at the top and here where the tab is and then you can just get this thing in all the way so that snaps in. Align the dorsal plates and maybe you want to pop them in here, maybe you don't, it doesn't matter. And then just adjust the legs so that this beastly gear walk stands up. Oh, look at that. Well, that was bound to happen at some point. Adjust the camera here and just kind of do what I did with the Max Type and have it stand upright. So here we go. Milia is ready to give Basara some schooling on how to use Gearwalk mode. Again, no different than the Max toy. Looks pretty nice in gear walk mode. Stay there. Uh, stands up pretty well, you know. Spec the table, doesn't go anywhere. Has some nice posability. Fairly robust joints. Looks pretty cool in the gear walk mode. Oh, and of course, while I have it here, let's, uh, let's take a look at Milia herself. On this toy, they actually included a unique sculpt to represent Milia as she dresses in Macross 7. Again, nice touch. 
we like the nice touches. They didn't just try to include the same figure as the uh, TV style VF1 A or J or whatever. And so again, nice looking toy. Has the nice hands like the uh, other two. Ratcheted joints in the ankles, in the knees, elbows, side to side motion, and just regular swivels here. Swivel here, ball joints here. Okay, so we're gonna go to battery mode right after this. Okay, it's time for the final part of this review where we transform it to battery mode. Now, to start off, what I'm going to do is um, well, I'm just gonna straighten the legs out first because that would probably make standing a lot easier for the toy. these uh, tight joints back in place and they kind of have to click in all the way. There we go. It's always good to notice on this is that when you put the uh, gear walk joint back in the screw on the side gets covered. That's the, um, the most in position for it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this part up again. There we go. And I'm going to just bring the whole canopy section out again and bring down the lock. Alright, so while I have it here, let's just fold these wings in. And you can also put these uh, panels back down. This is the only mode other than fighter where you want these down. Okay. So I'm just going to bring this whole thing up on the uh, double jointed bar and you can see I'm going to do this from the side. See how it comes up and then you just align tabs in the back with some holes in here. And then the whole thing will come together, the whole lock in the back, the tabs in the back, and pretty much everything. Which is a nice thing about this toy, is just that the way everything will just snap into place. It's vaguely reminiscent of an old Takatoku toy. Okay, so that went in place, keep that locked down. And there we go. We are almost done with the Batteroid mode. And last one to do is just expose the the head, which again this one's a little tighter for some reason. So what I'm gonna do, because it's a little bit tighter, is you can actually just pull down on this thing in the front here. And that's another way to bring down that section there. Okay. Here we go. Now let's see how well she stands. Here we go. First try. All right, uh, Milia VF22S in bad ride mode. As you can see, the um, link between a Valkyrie and the Quaylon Rao is a bit more evident when you have, of course, Milia herself in a bright red um, robot. You know, just like her Quaylon Rao in uh, Macross You Remember Love. And again, you know, you have the same joints as the Airwalk mode in addition to a waist joint, which you can just kind of turn back and forth. It is a little restricted by the fact that the backpack is in the way, and um, let's try not to unlock the backpack as we show off the joint. Of course, the head moves a little bit. Not a whole lot, but works pretty well. And of course, I forgot to do this, but you can push her, push Milia's seat upwards so that she's facing outwards. So, uh, yeah, this is a, another fine VF22S toy. Of which there are now three. Good job, Yamato. Thank you for making all the toys that I wanted. Not doing too bad now that I have about as many uh, VF22s as VF1s. Almost. 
so here we go. This is a, uh, a nice looking toy befitting a middle-aged woman in the prime of her political career. So, uh, I just want to say thanks again to Hyperlink Japan. Go there, buy these toys. They're good toys, especially if you're a big Macro 7 fan like me. And um, this is Ambin Andrew for Collection DX saying, who are you calling an old woman?